I have noticed that most of the, the guests are mostly white males of 22 episodes. Yeah, that you've let's had. get into that. No. I, <laughs> I want to show you a clip that was going viral over the weekend uh, of Jerry Seinfeld, and this is, uh, this is a few months ago. But you know, Seinfeld, what's interesting about him is that he, when at the height of the show and in the 80s, 90s and all that, Jerry, no one knew his uh, political opinions about anything. Now he has somehow become somewhat controversial. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but here he was being interviewed uh, and asked about, uh, well, just not having enough DEI in his comedy and his shows. Talk to. I have noticed that most of the guests are mostly white males of 22 episodes. Yeah, that you've let's had. get into that. No, I, <laughs> but but you, you take a look over here, Peter. What do you see? A lot of a lot of whiteies. What's going on here? But but I, oh, this really pisses me off. But well, go no, ahead. No, no, I, I, really <laughs> pisses me off. People think it's it's the census or something. I mean, this has got to <laughs> represent the the actual pie chart of, of of America. Who cares? It's just funny, you know. Funny is is the is the world that I live in. You're funny. I'm interested. You're not funny. I'm not interested. Okay. And, and I have no interest in gender or race or anything like that, but everyone else is kind of with their little calculating, is this the exact right mix? You know, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that's, uh, to me, it's anti-comedy. So Jerry's answer there is absolutely right. And we have seen wokeness destroy comedy, which is why there's very few funny movies anymore, or funny TV shows or anything else, right? And his response, like, and of course the interviewer is just one of another one of these just sort of like asexual white weirdos. Like why doesn't he, I don't know, commit Harry Carey, right? He could just stab himself right there and we could get a black gay guy up there hosting that show. Wouldn't be that difficult to ask Jerry those questions. But of course he never does that. But the point is the audience is with Jerry and Jerry's making the point. It ruins absolutely everything.